Hi, this is Oliver Lucanus from Below Water. Today we want to look at a cichlid that's really new in the hobby, but also we hope that it remains in our aquariums because it's not likely to be imported often and it's endangered. Let us have a look at the Lake Koto Tilapia, Coptodon Cote. Tilapia have somewhat of a bad reputation because they're introduced in ecosystems around the world and often outcompete native fish. Even though the fish in the supermarket sold as tilapia are actually Oreochromis. These small tilapia species that are found in really limited range are not the ones introduced in many places worldwide. This species occurs in a really remote place. The crater lakes Barombi Mbo Koto and Buandong, just north of Mount Cameroon in Western Africa. There is another famous crater lake, Barombi Mbo, that has 11 endemic cichlids, but the Lake Koto Tilapia is one of just two endemic cichlids in those lakes. Since 2019, this region is in conflict, so there are no fish exports from there at the moment, at least not until the political situation in Western Cameroon calms down. Like all crater lake fish, they are really vulnerable to the environmental changes in the region. These lakes are just 1200 meters, that's less than a mile, and 400 meters across. So any changes from human activity can really affect such a small body of water. Deforestation, agriculture, pollution, and of course introduction of other species can all contribute to this fish disappearing one day. With volcanic crater lakes, there's also a small chance that toxic gases from below can kill the fish population. Because these fish are vulnerable in nature is why I hope that this fish stays in our hobby. When you first see the fish, you'll be a bit disappointed because it's a typical drab tilapia. But when they're breeding, their color is really spectacular. They turn bright yellow and dark black and their eyes get really red. They also stay small, less than four inches or 10 centimeters for the males if you don't overfeed them. They should be fed sparingly and mostly with more green flakes, otherwise you'll lose that slender body shape that you see in the wild fish here. Like most tilapias, they are really easy to breed, as long as you have a pair and there's some cover and not too many other fish. Generally a 30 gallon or 120 liter aquarium should be enough. As of 2018, we have around 30 wild Coptodon cote in North America, and at least at the moment they are really popular. Lots of people are breeding them, so I think it will stay in the hobby. We've added a link to the CARES fish preservation program in the description, so if you're breeding this fish or other fish that are on the CARES list of endangered and vulnerable cichlids and other fish, make sure to register there. I hope you've enjoyed this profile, make sure to subscribe to this channel at the end of the video.